yeah I've been on the road thinking about you lately yeah. I gotta see you cause I get tired of waiting yeah. When I think about you then my heart start racing My love and patience, yeah. my heart can't take it yeah. I think you're so beautiful At first I didn't know what to do with you I love the rest of one so beautiful I'm only 24 and she is savage I'll spend my life with you We get, get married tonight, that's the truth I'm Finna book a flight with you I ain't tell no lies That's it's your girl, my time It's your girl, Ming And I'm back on the scene Doing my effing thing But you know what I mean What? What? But you know what I mean So, I am back with another story time I know you guys love my story time So, I'm gonna keep them coming, okay? Well, this time we're doing a little mukbang And I'm going to be eating Chipotle we all need a little Chipotle in our life. Anyways, this story time is pretty quick, but pretty interesting. So I thought, why not do it? This is the time that I got blackmailed by a guy. Like what? Why would you want to blackmail me? Like, if you know how I feel. Really though. Like, anyways. So let's get right into it. Um, let me open my mail first. Which I just ripped open again. So I got me a bowl. They're like blending shit out there, so you might hear that in the background, but I'm not gonna keep stopping. We're gonna have to deal with it, okay? So in this bowl, I got chicken and rice, tomatoes, lettuce, what is this called? Sour cream, cheese, and I got the pinto beans, not the black beans. I got the white rice, not the brown rice. Okay, that's just how I wanted it this time. Anyways, Let's get right into it. Let me taste this first because they be playing with my mail sometimes. Alright, this is going to be a goodie. They gave me a good bowl this time. Sometimes they be playing like and not giving you good shit. Like, come on. So this all started online. I don't know what was up with me. I was 19 in high school still. Um, clearly I wasn't doing good. I was on the verge of graduating because I did spend an extra two years in high school. I was around like 19 going on 20 basically i was online and some guy hit me up like we were talking before i guess we never took it like further um he hit me up and i recognized who he was and i was like hey what's up you know long time what's going on you know so we get into talking and we used to talk on the phone we used to text you know like yeah all that good stuff and we started getting deeper into our relationship or whatever or whatever it was because it wasn't a relationship we were just legitly like having good combo this guy was around 25 so he was an older guy and i thought he would be older like mature girl was i wrong wait they got the blender on again watch me eat for a little while I didn't tell you guys, but I'm drinking just water today. I need to rehydrate myself because it's been days that I'm skipping out on drinking water. So now I'm just drinking straight water. So like I was saying, I was so wrong. He was not mature at all. He played too fucking much. And I was just thinking, because I didn't want nothing serious. I just wanted to, you know, talk. Like, have a little boo thing. But the older they are, the, the faster they fall for you. Like, I don't know why. But they just ready to commit, have a baby, put a ring on it, all this extra stuff, bring you home to their mama. Like, no, I wasn't with all that. I wasn't trying to do all that. I was trying to live my best life in my ending years of high school because my stupid ass got left back. <laughs> and, you know, have a little boot thing on the side. But after a while, we linked up and we started chilling with each other and basically getting in depth with each other. Like, you know? So that's when all the bullshit started when we started to really link and see each other baby that was the wrong idea because once we started like linking and you know i was like dang this could really be a boot thing that i really turn to when i need some you know like some of that good good like why not that's when girls started writing me talking about oh that that's their man i need to basically leave him alone he got a whole girlfriend he got this, that, oh, I'm his mistress, and he got a wife. Like, it was mad shit happening, and I'm just like, what? But none of them was showing me evidence, so me, I'm like, I rocks with him. Like, you know, I don't owe these bitches nothing, like, so I'ma rock with him. I'ma I'm a hold it down, and until I see proof, and I kept telling them, show me proof. When they started to hit me up with bullshit like that, bro, I was just telling him, like, 
I'm not with the shits. Like, I'm not on that type of time. That's not my vibe. Like, that's not what we gonna be doing. You feel what I'm saying? I'm a pretty girl. I don't need to be out here in these streets fighting. Even though in high school, like, I was fighting a lot. I wasn't finna fight over no nigga. Like, that's one thing I've never done in my life. Like, I never stood there and was like, this my man. Like, no. Because if that's my man, he won't be fucking with nobody else. <laughs> Period. They start hitting me up. I got some receipts, so when they started hitting me up, that's when I like started to fall back. So I used to have him like in my um, you know the cover photo on Facebook. Yeah, I used to have him in there, and I took him down. Like as soon as they start hitting me, I was like, mm -mm, like this is too much. It's too much girls hitting me up. Like it's going too far. So I took him off of my um little Facebook thing. So he hit me up like, nah, fuck out of here. You gonna change my pick. I'm gonna hold it down though. I still love you. I don't care. You're mine. That's all that matters. So I put the fallback, like I sent him some fallback thing and it was like fallback game be like. So he was like, how you gonna fall back if I'm gonna keep pulling you back up basically. And I'm like laughing out loud. He's like, you're not leaving me. I put laughing out loud. We wasn't in a relationship, but we treated it like we were. So we kept linking up and like he said i didn't fall back i was still you know talking to him or whatever after the link up started getting like real serious i felt myself like really falling for this nigga and i knew he was a dog like you know like when you know somebody's a dog but it's a fun it's a fun time with them it's a vibe they heart is pure but they just be lying like you know they rocks with you but they can't help but to rock with everybody else like period i'm like Baby, I can't get with that. I, I felt myself falling for this guy. Yes, we were sexual. We was all of that. But after a while, I just dipped on him. Literally. No explanation, no nothing. So then, after that, after I dipped on him, like, that's when all the blackmailing began. Like, bruh. When I tell you it began, it began. Whatever. I just dipped on him. No explanation. But he already knew. I was already complaining about bitches. Like, I'm not with that. Like, y'all not on my level. And I'm not about to fight over a nigga if he don't see that I'm not on y'all level. He cannot put me in the same category as y'all. Period. Whatever. So, I did. Which was probably wrong on my behalf because I should have never done that. But, come on. You was talking out the bitches. So, am I really that wrong? The guy, I guess he got hurt or whatever. But he left me alone for a little while. I, I could say, like, we stopped. I stopped fucking with him probably, like, October of 2014. And he left me alone. Then he started hitting me up back, like, in February around 2015. Just regular conversation, though. Like, oh, happy Valentine's Day. You know, things like... So I left out the part where around this time he started to basically write me again and he actually sent me a video of us being intimate with each other and i asked him to delete it and he refused girl started to start hitting me up again so i basically wrote him i said bro laughing all out please tell your girls don't hit me up i'm not into that going back to my ex so tell her she has nothing to worry about with me and you boom even though he wasn't my ex or nothing like that i still labeled it like that because i didn't know what to call him like so that's what I wrote. So basically he wrote me back like shaking my head. You know that ain't my pedigree. And that was a fake page that wrote you shaking my head. You funny too as if you trying to hurt me on purpose by saying that you ain't going to go back to your ex. Shit as if I never wanted nothing but the best for you and us. But alright not your bro either. I'll tell her though. I'm not getting back together with her no more just because of this dumb shit. Insecure shit worrying about a pic of us meanwhile. Me and you don't even talk no more. So I guess it was a picture with us two that was on his page or something like that. He basically now he's telling me about his new girl and all this extra shit, which I don't give a fuck about. Um, then he was telling me about the person that wrote me and it's a friend, it's a cousin of my friend. I was just telling him like I had a boyfriend or whatever. And he was like, not a good life and I'm not dealing with it. So no, you guys. Fuck your boyfriend, he won't treat you better than me. I don't care, I'm better off dolo. I do wish you the best. I do wish the best for you, life-wise though. Just not love-wise, till you back with me. What? Like, Bitch, what? Like, excuse me? So I'm like, stop acting crazy. You fucked up, not me, so don't do that. When I said that he fucked up, I was referring to the video that he chose not to delete of me which he took without my permission. This is when he wrote me this. He said, nah, you left me lonely when I needed you the most. Honestly, you made me happy in a way I never thought I could be. Then you leave, come back, and try to play me that night just to get some head. Then curve me because I didn't want to just eat it that night. 
I cared for you, your goals and your family and all that shit I did was and am in love with you. I didn't fuck up. You left me because I want because you wanted to. I may have annoyed you sometimes, but I would have never gave up on you. I thought it was real. So how did you think it was real when you were still talking to these girls, doing all this extra shit? Like, no, I'm not a fool. You get what I'm saying? Because even after we're bro like we're not talking or whatever, they're still writing me. If you had love for me, you would have not taken that video without my permission and denied my claim for you to delete it. That's when he's saying like he's just speaking his piece. He's not acting crazy or nothing like that. So that's when I wrote him. And I was like basically explaining what, how or why he fucked up. You fucked up when you kept that video and tried to put it in my face when I never even gave you the right to take any video of me and you had two, meaning he had two videos. So you did fucked up. You played me so all I wanted from you was that night. And no, I don't just fuck people over that I care about like you did to me. So it ain't just fuck him because he treats me with more with the most respect. So I'm talking about my new nigga now. Like and after that he calls me and I answer because now I'm scared because he has this video on me and I don't want him to post it or nothing like that. So I was like um talking to him on the phone and I was just telling him like that's fucked up. You have a video of me and if you can't control yourself, I don't need you. You're 25. When are you ever gonna control yourself? You get what I'm saying? So whatever he's like oh fuck like he starts going crazy like oh fuck you like all this crazy shit like i'm gonna post this shit da, da, da. after that i was tired of being nice and i was just like you know what fuck that post it like i don't give a fuck what you do post it do what you gotta do if you post it that's just bringing more niggas to me because <laughs> i look the fuck good like I was just telling him off because I was tired of like just allowing him to make me feel like he had something over me. And it's like, you don't got nothing over me. Like, at all. At all. So I was like, go ahead, post it, do what you gotta do. He's like, basically like, oh, when I post this shit, you're gonna go viral and not in a positive way. So don't think this is gonna add to your clout that you already have. Like, bruh, bruh, you talking too much. If you're gonna be about it, do it. Just do it. Just fucking do it. So I was telling him that, do it, I don't give a fuck. Boom, hung up on him, and that was it. A couple weeks passed, and basically he was telling me now, like, oh, I could never do that to you. So now he's telling me, like, oh, I could never do that to you. I'm going to read it to you. So now he said, oh, I never showed no one that, though, talking about the video. I only kept it because I was OD missing you. I apologized and then deleted it. But I feel you, though. At least I know where I went wrong at. I won't bother you no more. So, boom, he was like, basically like he deleted it. I didn't believe him or anything like that, but I was still like, okay, cool. So he was like, can we be cool, please, at least? I'm sorry, again. So he said that, and I was just, I just left it there. Like, I didn't really care, like, fuck it, I don't give a fuck. Um, after that, after that, I saw him on the train. So this is probably like a year later from what I was just talking about. I see him on the train and I'm like trying to duck from him like, oh my God, like I don't want him to see me. Standing by the door and he's by the other door. So there's a train, a door here and then his seats and then a door there. So he's standing over there and I'm standing here and I'm like, oh my God, like I don't want him to see me. So I'm turning my back to him now. Now I'm standing like this, but there's a person right here. So it's mad awkward for me to be looking at them. So, I was trying straight, and I'm like, I'm getting off next stop. I don't give a fuck if it's not my stop. I had like 10 stops left. Once I'm about to get off, like the doors go, this is, and it tell, it's saying the stop. I'm walking to get off. I look at him one last time. Bruh, tell me why he's like, bruh, he's like staring into my soul, bro. And so, like, it was so fucking creepy. It was like, Oh my god, like this nigga saw me. Like, it's over. It's fucking over. Boom. So I guess off the train. I keep looking back because I'm like, I know this nigga is that crazy to fucking follow me. Like, I know he is crazy to follow me. So I was like, running, bro. I felt like I was running, but I know I was just speed walking. So I'm speed walking off the train. He's not behind me. He's not following me, nothing. I go home or whatever. I get home. He writes me. He fucking writes me. I'm 
knew it was gonna be something, something. Whether he was gonna chase me, fucking throw a book bag at me, something, write me. And basically he says, oh my God, you don't know how bad I wanted to run off the train just to say hello and talk to you. But you never looked my way again. I didn't even notice you at first, so much on my mind, stress from work, etc. Notice you at the last second and then you nodded your head and walked and turned away. Bro, I did not nod my head, like, I fucking covered my head because I was so fucking scared. My camera is dead, not focusing on me. Like, hello, am I here? <sighs> Alright, this is a annoying. Now that we're focused again, sorry my camera died. So like I was saying, um, he was just, I don't know, rambling on. Let me call it that. So he was just rambling on and I kind of just ignored him. I didn't block him or anything, I just ignored him. So time goes on, still 2017-ish. I get a random message. It's just a video. Like I get a random message from a like a text app, like text-free app. It's a really close video where you can't even see nothing. So I write him and I'm like, basically like, did you take, did you send me this video? Like, well I didn't say did you send me the video. I'm like, I know it's you sending me the video. I was just so paranoid that he had that video. Like, um, he's like, what? You really think I would ever do that to you? I basically begged you to accept a nigga apology. Try to start over. You told me to leave you alone. I don't have your number. I don't have you on here. Um, I'm past that stage. Now you're past that stage, but you're, you was 25 blackmailing a nigga, like, you're past that stage, whatever. Like, the video looked like the one you showed me, honestly, but maybe I'm mistaken. The guy did say wrong number. The video didn't look like the exact video that it took, like, he took, because the video was too close to even realize what the hell, who the hell. So, I didn't really know, like, if it was the video that he sent, but I said it looked like it just so, like, he could tell me the truth. But it really wasn't him. He didn't send that video and yeah. So we did it that. That was the last time that I've spoken to him. And he was basically like speaking positivity now. Hopefully he changed as a person. If he did, I'm really like proud of him because honey, honey, honey. If not, I feel sorry for the girls in his future. But that is the end of the story time when I got blackmailed. I know it was like all over the place, but I hope like the sequence was like, like you know, put together at the by the end of this video. I I have more content coming out, many things coming out, honestly. And I just wanna I wanna put in more collabs. So I have been hitting up people to see what's up, how we how we could get this done during quarantine or not, like um. Quarantine is really taking a toll on a nigga. I'm over quarantine. It's crazy that we going through this 2020 quarantine. But anyways, that is the end of the story time of the time that I got blackmailed. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys come back to my channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. This is where the mean babes stay and slay. Period. Okay? Make sure you hit that like button. Drop a comment down below referring to this video or any other video that you want to see. And I'll see you in my next video, babes.